Hello everyone, Princess and Bear. And today we're going to give you a tour of one of the closest non-Disney hotels to Disney property. The Dolphin and the Swan. So two technically. Um, yeah, technically. We've stayed here before. It's a very nice hotel. It's a lot different than a normal Disney hotel. It really is. So we're going to go show you around. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. Bedding is nice, I like that, but the $20 a night for parking thing is it's really relevant now that this <laughs> It's still not as expensive unless you're staying at a um, signature, whatever it's called. Like True. So deluxe. The parking would be expensive and then like you get to like legit like pay to go in and out, don't you? Um you can if you don't if you don't do the all day parking, then yeah, you have to pay twenty dollars an hour. Which is a bit ridiculous. Yeah. And then inside, I mean, you have, like if you get a room with the balcony, the balconies are nice. It is. If it's cool enough to sit out there, which, you know, Florida.
can watch the Epcot fireworks from your room if it's facing the right direction. And so. then you have all of the boardwalk for Eater Eats, which works well. Mm -hmm. There's some good eaters inside the hotel, which we'll do later, but it's not a bad place. And the boating system is like one of those boats that feels like you're on a moving bus basically. Yeah. So not the best like boating transportation system, but it gets you around. It's yeah. still fun. And once the Skyliner opens, it'll be a nice sort of like middle hotel for basically everything. Yeah, that's true. It'll be a nice little hub. Mm -hmm. 